This lesson we want to choose the appropriate method for solving a system of equations. As a general guideline, if x or y is already by itself in an equation, then the substitution method is the easiest. If none of the coefficients of x or y are 1, then the addition method is also probably easier. And finally, if you go to solve for x and y to begin the substitution method and you wind up with fractions, then the addition method is probably easier. So what we want to do today is decide which method is preferred and then solve each of the following systems of equations. As we look at our first system of equations, notice that the coefficient of y is plus 5y in the first equation and minus 5y in the second equation. This leads nicely to using the addition subtraction method because if we add, these already disappear. So we get 10x equals negative 10. Divide through by 10, x equals negative 1. So if x equals negative 1, let's take our first equation, replace x with negative 1, and see if we can solve for y. So we have negative 2 plus 5y equals 3. Let's add 2 to both sides of the equation. 5y equals 5, so y equals 1. So our solution is negative 1, 1 for our x and our y value. And this is a nice consistent system. By the way, a nice way of checking is by substituting each of these numbers into both equations. Notice if we put a negative 1 in for x and a 1 for y, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. Since they both work in the both equations, we know for a fact that it is correct. As a second example, 4x minus 3y equals 2, y equals 3x minus 4. Because y is already solved in the second equation, it makes it easier for us to proceed. Let's take the first equation, 4x minus 3. We'll leave a space for y. Let's replace our value with y with 3x minus 4. Let's use the distributive property. Negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12 equals 2. 4x minus 9x, since they're on the same side, gives us negative 5x plus 12 equals 2. Let's subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. So we're left with negative 5x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 5. And x equals 2 is our x value. Let's replace x into here. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4 gives us 2 as our y value. So we have 2 for x two for y, and again we have a consistent system. In order to check this, we put two in for here, and x and y in our first equation, we get eight minus six is two, and six minus four is two, so it works in both equations, therefore we know for in fact it is correct. Finally, if we look at this equation, substitution does not look like it's going to be nice because we're going to have many fractions. So instead, let's use the addition method. Notice here that we have a negative 2y and a positive 6y. Notice if I had a negative 6y up here, negative 6y plus 6y would cancel out the y values. How do I get from negative 2y to negative 6? I have to multiply by 3. 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y. 3 times 19 is 57. Let's recopy the second equation and put it below it. Notice the x, I mean the y values are going to disappear. 15x plus 4x is 19x. So we have so we have 7 and 8 is 15. Carry 1, so we have 95. Divide both sides by 19. x equals 5. Let's go back to our, let's take our second equation because it is all positives. 4 times 5 plus 6y equals 38. So we have 20 plus 6y equals 38. Subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. 6y equals 18, so y equals 3. So our answer x is 5, y is 3. And once again, we have a consistent system.